what makes you unique this is going to be a collective reading for the collective on what makes you different what makes you unique uh, what makes you stand apart amongst the crowd you know what makes you the main character what makes you the center of attention what makes you someone to look at <laughs> okay if you guys are new to my channel, I am Lucy. Welcome to Lucy's Vision. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm Lucy. Welcome to Lucy's Vision. Um, I am a seer. Uh, sometimes I say I'm a psychic oracle, but basically I'm a seer. I'm able to see uh, the future and other realms and stuff like that. And I'm also able to channel messages as well in different ways. <coughs> uh, also, excuse me, I keep sleezing. Um, I also... I'm introducing um, number, numerology in my readings. So you guys are going to see that as well. And coming soon, I'm going to start to do number charts for you guys as well. And I can't wait to do that. And the number charts is basically your life path. Like what's going on in your path, your direction in life, the energy that you're in, the conscious level that you're in. And that's how I'm going to like really, I'm going to break it down once I do like the number chart, chart number charts for everyone. And um, my private readings. I'm not going to start that until a new year. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait to start that. Okay, universe, use me as a vessel, a channel to channel the message for the collective. What makes my collective unique? What makes them stand apart amongst the crowd? What makes them stand out? How, how are they different from everyone? Universe. How are they different from everyone? <laughs> Keep having it's upside down. Keep doing that. Read things in reverse. I'm gonna take these cards back because it's upside down. Universe, what makes the collective different? What makes them unique? What makes them stand apart amongst everyone? What makes them stand apart amongst everyone? What makes them stand apart amongst everyone? What makes ev what makes them stand apart amongst everyone? Universe. Off of that, um, I have the six of cups that came out first, and then the seven of wands, then the uh, three of pentacles, the page of swords, and then behind that is the temperance card, and then I have the five of cups. Um, right next to the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So let's start with the Six of Cups. What makes you stand apart, what makes you unique collective is your sense of fashion. Uh, you wear a very colorful fashion. People love your fashion sense. It's different. It's unique. Um, it's down to earth as well, but also like put together in a beautiful way. It's something about the, your, the color of your, what you wear. It, it brings a lot of color. Um, you may be someone who likes to be barefoot a lot. People notice that you like to brown yourself. You like to be barefoot sometimes. So they, they see that you're down to earth. People feel like you're connected to Mother Gaia. They feel like you're very, very connected. Like you're, you're, you're magical. People see that you see, feel like you're magical. You have, you're different from everyone. People feel like you. Represent feminine energy. So it doesn't matter if you're a woman or, or a male, but I'm seeing that they feel like you represent what feminine energy is. People really love your fashion. I keep seeing that fashion, 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 how you dress yourself is very different. Um, especially your pants. Uh, something regard You have designs on your pants that you may um, create for yourself. It's something about designs on your pants. You have certain designs that people love.
People love to watch you. They, they see you in a high pedestal. They feel like you hold something. People feel, people feel like you shine very brightly a lot. Like you shine bright. And you stand your ground. It's like people see that you, you shine bright. You have a very colorful, unique, beautiful fashion sense. Like you like to put yourself together. People love your fashion sense. If people know that you, you're, you're not afraid to defend yourself when met with trouble. And you may like to work, be barefoot. I, I am getting that. But they also, I'm getting something with a spiritual sense too. Like, you're very connected with Mother Gaia. People feel like you're very down to earth and very like spiritual in a way. So you may come off very spiritual. People feel like um, you've been through a lot of changes in your life. Like a lot of shifts that happen in your life, like anything that ba anything bad hap that happens in your life, is like it quickly shifts to your favor. It goes in your favor. So something bad may happen, and it, it quickly change, and like you get something better for yourself. Like it's like people feel like you've been to your you things that happen in your life. It goes your way, no matter what. You still shine through. You still shine bright, and. Again, I said that I was getting that you may you may have dealt with trouble, and even so, it's like you still you still hold your own. You still stand your ground, and um, it's not a, you're not afraid to speak up for yourself. You're not afraid to defend yourself. It's like you're you're ready for whatever comes your way, and people feel like you have a very um, dedicated, determined stare. Something about your stare. Is that you're, you're very determined. People love when you speak. Again, they, it's, I'm, getting, I'm getting, getting this energy. It's something about your stare. Um, people feel like we, they can't tell what you're thinking. With, the, with that stare that you have, that dedication, determined stare, it's like, People don't know what you're thinking when you give that stare. They want to know. They feel like you're hiding something or what you actually feel. It's like people can't read you. You have a poker face. A poker face. People love the way that your hair is styled. It's very wavy. People love your wavy hair. It blows. <laughs> it blows in the wind type of thing. People love your hair. People feel like you're very connected. Like again, with Mother Gaia. People feel like you pour a lot, you, you pour, like you give a lot of love into things. Things that you have, things in your life, you give, you give it a lot of love. It, 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 with that, it comes with a lot of blessing. I'm going to use the um, number of cards to clarify the temperance card. I'm getting something more with the temperance card. Cause so, what I'm getting so far collected, what, what makes you stand apart from everyone is your fashion sense. Is the way that you, you're, you're down to earth. And you're very connected um, with Mother Gaia. So I'm getting something about your, you may be someone who's very spiritual in a way, connected with the spiritual realm. Um, people love the way that you speak. And like, they love the way you speak and how you, is it, again, something with your fashion. I keep giving me that, with your fashion and your stare. You have a very um, piercing um, determination, a, a dedicated stare that no one knows what you're thinking. You have a poker face. They don't know what you're thinking. People love that about you. People also feel like you're lucky that things go in your favor when bad things happen. It always go to your, it always go your way. 
that's what people feel like. People also feel like you're talented with the Three of Pentacles card. They feel like you're very talented with your hands, things that you craft. Because I was getting with the fashion, you may, you may be some type of designer, but like, people love that what you use your hands with, you create stuff. Like, you could be talented when it comes to the arts and design. I'm, I'm getting a lot of fashion. People love your fashion sense. You may do a lot of, like, DIY stuff. I'm getting as well. And people say, people say, people say, and people feel like what you pour into, the love that you pour, the things that you craft, the thing that you build, it brings you abundance. It, you get money, lots of money from it. Because they feel like you're very talented. Again, I was getting that. People feel like you're lucky. I'm getting that a lot. People feel like you're lucky when it comes to your talents, when it comes to your growth in life, when it comes to the changes that happen in your life that's, um, you know, that's not expected or things that um, doesn't go in your favor. It still goes in your favor. It's like people feel like you're lucky. Yeah, amongst the crowd, like, amongst, like, amongst the crowd, amongst everything, whether it's chaos, whether it's, um, it does not matter. It's like things go your way. It's like you elevate um, amongst all of it. Amongst all the crap that you deal with, you elevate. You grow. Yeah, and you, you just, you change a lot of things that, you change things. It's like you, um, what's it called? You alchemize your life. Like you alchemize that things that, whether it's any type of trouble, any type of struggle, you alchemize it to your favor. And therefore it makes you lucky because it, when, it, when you do that, it goes in your favor and you... You earn a lot of blessings. And you head to a new direction in life. It's like you don't stay down for long. Yeah, you quickly remove any obstacle that will come your way. People have seen that. People admire that. It's like how quickly you can shift things to your favor. How quickly you can optimize things to your favor. People absolutely love this. It's like you balance everything in within your life. Mm, how amazing. Let's get some more tarot. It's like the energy that I'm seeing that you're in, collective, is that um, you're very, like, it's like when you go through, like, the, um, the hardships in life, the struggle, you're, like, your energy is very low. Like, not low. It's like, it's young. It's not, um... I feel like when you in that energy of hardship and struggle, it's like your energy vibration, it shakes. And then when you, sh when you optimize it, it quickly elevate. It's like your energy skyrockets and you change things. You shift things. It's like you shift energies. Like consciously and vibration, like in 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 vibrations, like you shift it within your mind, you shift it within your energy and your vibration, and therefore it matches you. Whatever you alchemize, it matches the, en the energy that you're in. And when you alchemize, you elevate. Cause I, cause I feel like when things could be going good for you in your life. And then all of a sudden, something unpredictable happens um, that can, like, really shake up your world. And it starts to, like, shake. Your energy starts to shake and it starts to vibrate very, like, how can I say it? It starts to vibrate uncontrollably until you take control of it. And you just completely shift it and then you skyrock. And then things just unfold for you. Blessings keep uh, comes in for you. People wonder how you do that. People like 
when you're down, people feel like you're going to stay down. But it's like you quickly change that. People find that amazing. They want to know how you do it. They want to know how you do that. They feel like you're, there's something special about you. You are a great alchem uh, alchemist. You know how to alchemize, alchemize to your favor. Whether, like, things that post the, basically, key, um, things that's, pers that's, things that's, like, working against you, you alchemize it. It's like you bend it to your will. Like, like, even if it's working against you, it's still working for you. <laughs> that's what I'm getting, like, it's still working for you. And people see that. It's so weird interesting but it's like you skyrocket you skyrocket or skyrocket i don't know how to say it but like you elevate and you head to the direction like your path is still you still end up where you need to be you still end up where you need to be too much cards you guys it was so much i fell out so i'm gonna end this uh, collective i'm seeing a lot of um unique things about you you're very special when it comes to um, your connection with uh, the Mother Gaia. People have seen that. And you're very special when it comes to your talent. Your creativity and your talent and your skills sets you apart from your, from everyone else. Is that the way that you design isn't like how everyone else designed their clothes. The way that you craft things isn't how other people craft their things. It's very unique, very different. And people love it. People love watching your creations. People also love how you can optimize your life when dealing with struggles, when dealing with hardships, and like you optimize it to your favor and things start to work out for you. And not only does it work out for you, you elevate, you skyrocket. Because pe people would, may think that you're, or you're heading in, in a certain way because you're dealing with the hardship, but you quickly change things and then it just skyrocket. Everyone don't know what to expect when it comes to you. People don't know what to expect. It's like you're you're unpredictable. Like people like want to watch you, want to know more, want to see what's going to happen next. <laughs> Very interesting. They want to see what's going to happen next. Hmm. People find you funny as well. I'm getting from this energy. People feel like you're very entertaining. They find you very funny. You it you are you entertain. You are some type of entertainer of some kind. But if people find you very funny, it's like people feel like you laugh at what you go through. You laugh it off. You smile and you laugh it off. You laugh it off. And people just find that weird, but they laugh with you. Not at you. They laugh with you. Cause you make you may make jokes out of what you've been through, and it kind of makes things like light. Like I don't know how to explain. It makes things more not a big deal. Well, I won't say that. It's more of like by you make making jokes out of it. It's like you alchemizing that energy that's meant to break you. You alchemize it and made it more lighter. You alchemized that energy and you made it lighter. You made it higher by making a joke out of it, by laughing at it. You laughing at that energy, that situation. Not at yourself. You're laughing at that energy. It's like you're, you, like again, you alchemize it. You create something new out of it. You create something new. I got the number three. Three talks about. Um, things um, intensify, things amplify, like things are more like stronger in vibration. Do you feel like you're strong? Again, I, I was getting that people feel like you're creative and that you, again, you change things. Things start to change for you. You change a lot of things of your past. 
that I'm getting. You guys, I'm looking at my notes for the numbers to make sure that I didn't um, miss any things. Because, yeah, I'm still learning about the number. Well, I'm not still learning. I, I got the gist of it. But I just want to, like, you know, refresh. But, yeah. Do you feel like you change a lot of things about your past? A lot. They feel like you you know how to reinvent yourself. So, you guys, I'm going to get, like, three more cards and I'm going to leave it, okay? Universe, what makes the collective unique? You, you yourself make yourself unique. It's you. People feel like you're unique because you're, people feel like you're lucky. And you're blessed. People feel like you're lucky and that you receive a lot of answers. Like, from the divine. Like, people feel like you have a, some type of connection with the spiritual realm and they feel like not only are you lucky from that, and you're a lucky individual. They feel like you have all the answer. You hold something. And you, you, you're you able to change your path. You're a great alchemist. And people feel like you're very talented as well. But people really, really love your fashion. That's what I was getting as well. How you put yourself together. How you design. Because I feel like um, you're some type of designer. Or you just like, you're a stylist. A very great, a great stylist as well. So, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. This was your reading collective. What makes you unique, what makes you stand out amongst the crowd is your, um, people don't can't know, people can't tell what you're thinking because they feel like you have a poker face. People love your talents. People love what you craft, what you design. People love your fashion. People love that you can make jokes out of your, um, situations that was working against you, out of your hardship. People love that you can make jokes out of it. It, um, you create something new out of it. You birth something new. People love that you can reinvent yourself through these hardships and struggles that you've been through. People love that how much you change from your past, how much you elevated in life, how much you've grown in life. People love that. People feel like there's something different and supernatural about you. I was getting that, and something otherworldly about you because they feel like you have such a connection with the Mother Gaia. I was getting, as well as the spiritual moment, but it was something with Mother Gaia people feel like you have some type of connection with. But um, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Um, this was your reading. See you guys next time. Lucy out. Bye. <laughs> oh, like this video if you liked it. That would definitely help me out if you did. Um, comment down below your thoughts on how much or what you thought about this reading. Um, it actually, uh, in, you can comment down below like any videos you would like me to do, any pick a card readings or collective readings you want me to do, I would do it. Um, comment down below what you would like me to do and I do it. Uh, subscribe so we can grow and reach more people because you guys know I'll also share what's to come with our feature because I am a seer. And hit the bell so you can be notified of more videos from me. Um, yeah, that's it. Do see y'all. Bye. Oh, I also want to thank you universe for using me as your channel. Thank you, Universe, for allowing me to channel these messages for the collective. I appreciate you. Bye. We'll see you. <laughs>